Hello, welcome to Building Modern APIs with RESTful video tutorial. My name is Matteo Aguilo, um, one of the authors of the RESTful module. And uh, this is the first video of the series. And I, I would start uh, with just showing you the content model that we are going to be working with in this, in this series. So if I go here to content types, I'll see that uh, there are several content types uh, Please ignore article and basic page uh, because this uh, come with the default, the standard profile of uh, the Drupal installation. So uh, we're gonna focus on album, band, person, and record label. And uh, this um, this is for a hypothetical site and or app of um, a music site. So. Um, let me show you, start showing you the record label. So a record label can have uh, a name, a history, which is a long text, and then it has references to the bands that are managed by this label and individual artists that may be managed by this label. So these are entity references uh, and, and that's it. It's a fairly simple content model. Um, so next, uh, I'm gonna go and show you the bands. Every band will have a name, a biography, and a list of references to albums. Uh, every band can have several albums and several members, which is uh, an entity reference to the members content type, sorry, to the person content type. Then it will have a, a logo and uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. So these two are very simple content types. So we've seen record label and band. Uh, now let me show you the album. Uh, the album is a bit more uh, complex. Uh, basically uh, what it has is the title and description. This is usual. It has a reference back to the record label because even if a band is associated, sorry, if, even if a record label contains a reference to the band and the band contains a reference to the album, not all albums from a uh, given band will, uh, will belong to the same record label. So uh, we somehow need to do this association and uh, this is how we do it. We add this record label entity reference to the to the album content type. So apart from that, it, it has an entity reference to um, to a field type, which is songs. Um, we'll, we'll see that in, in a moment. Uh, also another entity reference to a field type called videos. And uh, then it has some uh, other, other field like Boolean saying that this is a compilation album, the publication year, the uh, numbers, uh, number of albums that were sold. Uh, if there were any awards for this particular album and then some images that you can attach to, to an album. So uh, this is for the album and uh, finally I think that I haven't showed you the person content type. So this is going to be for individual artists or band members. So um, this will have a common name uh, some artists go by an, an alias, so this is the place to, to put the alias. And a biography, the first name, the real first name, middle name and last name. Then a headshot, which is mandatory. And then some action shots of uh, this particular person playing or doing whatever. So uh, this is basically the... Um, the content model, I went ahead and enabled the a file entity module and created a, a very basic file entity type called song. And you'll see here that a song only contains the, the actual file. Uh, it's going to be an OGG or an MP3 or whatever, uh, the audio file. And then a field, a mandatory field called lyrics. So a song is an audio with lyrics. And also, um, 
yeah, I just mentioned that the song is going to be referenced from within the album. So an album has different songs. Uh, and also there's a, there's a video file type that we're using. Uh, and this is just the stock video file type that comes with file entity. So uh, you'll see that uh, there is only the, the video field. Sorry, the file field. Um, so uh, that that should be should be it. Um, just uh, a minor note uh, before sorry before we move on to show you some actual content. Um, in here uh, in the in the album, we've added an entity reference field, but this could have been a file. Oops. A file field, right? Uh, so if we were to create this, I'm gonna delete this field afterwards. Um, you can manage this and uh, just, you know, give it OG and MP3. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, so this would be also an, an alternative. I'm gonna go and delete this because we don't need this. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and I used an entity reference because uh, the songs one uh, it's gonna need some it's gonna need some field attached to it to to store the lyrics. So cool. Um, I hope this all makes sense and uh, let's go and start exploring some real content. Some, uh, there is the record label uh, with its, its history here and the, the bands that are managed and the individual artists. So uh, if we navigate to the band, we'll see that, uh, here's the name of the band, a little bit of biography for the band and then its members and its logo. We go to one of the members. Um, oh, yeah, uh, there's this album, the album too. So let me uh, just fairly quickly in the band display, I'm going to make this into a link, okay. Uh, this is out of the scope of this tutorial, so this is just so I can click around in the <coughs> in the note pages. So yeah, uh, as I said, this is the band, and it has an album, and the album has different songs that you can also click, and uh, you have the the file and then the lyrics sure. and it has three songs and it has uh, one video and all of the metadata associated to it so so some album art the awards that it got uh, the cells etc if we go back to the members of the band you'll see that uh, you get the name and the bio and then the, the real name. And well, this should be pretty self-explanatory. And um, again, if we go back to the, to the record label, <clears throat> you'll see that uh, we went to bands, but we can also go to individual artists. And this points to the exact same uh, to the exact same person node that we that we get to if we go to the band. So if we go to Green Green Day and click on uh, Billy Joe for its members, we come to this very same node. So we are reusing the um, the same the same node. So we can do an edit here. Maybe some add some more info, and it will show up in the in in every instance of it. So uh, that's the basic content model that we are going to be uh, working with. 
<clears throat> and uh, on top of this, we are going to build some kind of decoupled website or app or uh, whatever you need the, the API for. Maybe it's just a widget or, you know, there are many uses for an API. Um, next, it's going to be creating the labels resource uh, and uh, I'm giving you a quick preview. We're going to want to expose all this information. So here with the, with the dash, there's uh, all the information that goes into the labels resource. Then uh, that's going to leak into the band resource with a plus. And then that is going to lead to uh, lead us to to the person research with the star. So um, that's it. See you next episode.